I'm Earthridge Victoria reporting to you from the Happy Valley Forest in Ontario. I'm here with Mark Stapp, the Central Ontario Program Manager of the Nature Conservancy of Canada, and we're going to be chatting about the Jefferson Salamander. Why is Happy Valley Forest such a special place? Well, you drove up here from Toronto and it didn't take very long for you to get here, maybe 40 minutes, half an hour or so. So one of the things is it's a beautiful forest close to a lot of people, but it's still in really good shape. So you'll see here behind you is where the road ends. And that's why the forest is, is so special is that there aren't roads crisscrossing it. There aren't a lot of houses throughout the area. So as a result, a lot of wildlife species and rare species like the Jefferson salamander still have a place to live. Why does the Jefferson salamander need our help? Uh, Jefferson salamander is an interesting creature because it lives up in the hills, but then it breeds down in the ponds. And they need to be able to go from the upland down to the lowland without any obstructions or without getting squished by cars and so on. So Happy Valley Forest protects both of those types of habitat, but the other reason we need to help them is that people do use this area for hiking, for biking, sometimes people use ATVs, and there also are roads, some roads through here. Um, so we need to help find a way to ensure the Jefferson salamander isn't cut off in its path from the uplands down to the lowland ponds. So we're, we're working on ways to make that happen here in Happy Valley Forest. How has Earth Rangers helped the Jefferson salamander? Earth Rangers support has been really great. I know kids across the country have been helping a lot of different creatures. Here the, the Earth Rangers have helped us in maintaining and uh, keeping up signage, uh, gates and so on that keep people focused on trails and keep them from going off the trails and then potentially di disturbing the habitat and damaging the, the salamanders. What are some other things kids can do to help save endangered animals? Uh, well, you often hear about the, the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. That's really important for all the environment, uh, where, and that's where the, the wildlife lives. So you know, those sort of things that people do at home to take care of the environment, not pouring pollutants down their the drain and so on, those are really important. But out in the wild, uh, things that young people are doing right now are things like helping earth rangers and other groups that are helping endangered species across the country, uh, helping the Nature Conservancy of Canada. Um, but also planting trees and uh, restoring habitats by expanding natural areas with na native trees and shrubs. And also in for forests like this, uh, one of the things young people are helping with is removing invasive species. And those are things that are not native species to the area, but, but get in sometimes and spread and damage the environment for wildlife. What's your favorite animal? Well, the Jefferson salamander is pretty cool, but I have to say my favorite is the flying squirrel. There's a northern flying squirrel and a southern flying squirrel, and they live right across the country wherever there's forest. So they're a pretty neat critter. Thank you, Mark, for your time. Stay tuned for more Wildwire news.